Hello, welcome Gemini, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for March 2021. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more great content from me. Those who regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome, love your support. And if you'd like to stay connected with me, I'm also on Instagram. I'll pop my Instagram handles up here, do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration, healthy recipes, fitness tips around wellness as well. So come and say hi. And if you enjoy the Oracle Tarot decks, I use my readings. I'll list them down below for you. Uh, there's also a sale going on. You can get 40% off in my crystal shop. There's a clearance sale going on. And uh, you can get 40% off crystals, crystal jewelry, and Oracle cards. That coupon code is going to pop up here. You will need that if you want to get your 40% off. And all the details are also down below. And if you'd like to get the extended version of this reading, it's 30 minutes plus long. Yeah, we go right into general energies based on the predictions that come out, as well as higher guidance from spirit. And all you need to do to get access is hit the join button or the very first link in the video description box below. It'll take you straight there. There's a small monthly fee and you get the monthly and mid-monthly extended versions every month um, for less than a cup of coffee. Yeah, it's like getting two personal readings from me every month. And if you would like a personal reading, they are open. They're deeply transformational. Answer the questions you'd most like answered. We also look at your chakra balance, your past life information, your general energies and high guidance from spirit. So I'll pop that link up here for you and booking info down below. Let's get started, Gemini. So we're going to kick off with predictions from the beautiful Angel Wisdom Tarot. And let's see what you need to know. You've got the Queen of Earth, and um, she's very confident. She's very strong. She's very practical. She's got a gold, gold coin sitting in her lap. Yeah, but she's got a little bunny sitting at her um, feet, which kind of represents the fact that she's practical, but she's also got a love of um, family and home as well. Yeah. Um, taking a very sensible approach to life, a very, very balanced approach to life. Oh, this is beautiful. You got the four of five. There's a lot to celebrate, possibly wedding announcements, births, any kind of graduation, celebrations, a beautiful home in the background. It can represent prosperity, success coming your way, um, a lot of contentment, happiness in your personal life. You've also got the page of water. She's very contemplative, a little mermaid. Yeah, she's got a dolphin jumping out. Dolphins often represent happiness, yeah. Um, being very sensitive, intuitive. This possibly can relate to a new love coming into your life. Um, being a little bit more social. Her cups are running over, yeah. So particularly just watch you're not over emotional at this time. And you've got the nine of air and he's um, quite wide awake, yeah. In his bedroom, lots of candles on, lots of light on, unable to sleep, bit of worry, anxiety going on. So um, watch that, Gemini. This is beautiful. You got the sun coming out, this beautiful shift in positive energy. Really an idea is coming to you, a lot of fire energy to create what you want. Um, Plans that are going to work out perfectly. Um, some of you may be worried that they're not going to work out and Spirit's saying they are. You've also got this um, massive transformation going on here, yeah? significant life event creating change in your life. It's going to, there's a, also a timer going off here, which can represent balance. It can also represent time running out on something, um, the need to break free of things and move yourself forward. Sitting under the Queen of Earth, who's saying you need to come into this very balanced, practical state, yeah, to move forward. You've also got the Two of Earth, and um, he's juggling a lot of clocks in coins, yeah. So overworking, um, taking on too many things at once, the need for you to bring self into balance, yeah, between personal life as well as your career. A lot of air energy coming out. You've got the one of air. Um, 
your brilliant ideas coming to you, but they might need some refinement yeah, before you put them out to the world or release them. Um, just having faith that everything's going to work out all right. Wow, another queen, kind of super interesting. So much air energy, queen of air. Got two queens here. Lots of butterflies representing brand new beginnings, transformation. She's got a sword here, so cutting through things that no longer serve you, whether it be situations, people. Um, very much leaving the, the uh, past behind. A big focus on you, on your career. Um, can represent uh, people that are single, divorced. It's only an aspect of self. Not everyone. Wow. Isn't this interesting? These are almost identically mirrored images. You've got the page of water and you've got one of water. Yeah, have a look at that. Um, both, two mermaids, both one's cups filling over, the other one's holding a cup out to be filled. Again, a dolphin sitting in the background. So this happiness available to you, particularly in your love relationships, um, can represent an expression of love towards you. Are you offering your cup to someone? Someone offering their cup to you? Um, can be a romantic or a friendship. Mm -hmm. All right, so we some clarifiers with the beautiful Muse Tarot. What is it Gemini needs to know at this time? you got the five of inspirations, lots of mirrors, lots of holes you can fall into. <laughs> it's representing all aspects of self. It's a bit of the ego plan out. Spirit saying watch how you treat others on your path. Um, don't fall down the rabbit hole. Um, particularly in terms of self-gratification. It's about being focused on what you want, but being mindful of how you approach what you're creating in life, particularly around your career, not stepping on people, not getting engaged in power games, power struggles, um, not being too materialistic. And you've got the page of materials, and she's working her way up to becoming a full bloom, yes, which means that things are in progress right now, in gestation, haven't quite fully come into form. And you've got the eight of emotions. I actually love this um, tarot, yeah. It's walking away from the past, moving into new territories, leaving it behind, standing in your strength. It's a bit of an eclipse going on here, eclipsing things out of your life that no longer serve you. And you've got temperance, absolutely need for you to bring your emotions into balance, yeah. Directly related to sleepless nights, by the way. And the two of inspiration, very similar to this one here, which is the eight of emotions, yeah, both in a bit of a desert landscape or the sand. Uh, she's looking off to the future. She's Looking at new adventures, new horizons, new beginnings. Gorgeous sense of transformation, new beginnings going on. And uh, let's pull you some angel healing messages. What is it Gemini needs to know at this time? You've pulled Think Global. You're being encouraged to spread your wings, to think outside the square. You are a citizen of the world. Expand your vision. Imagine the world within your heart. Embrace it. Surround it with love. Let it be and so it shall be. And you've also got creative potential. You are by nature infinitely creative. Life is a sea of creative potential just waiting to be expressed through you. You are free to express all your heart's desires. A lot of focus on your career and your life path. And you've also got precious gifts. Friendship, family and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what's important. Which means as much as you want to create material wealth and abundance in your life, Spirit's saying family, love, relationships are just as important. Yeah, Creating balance between the two. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. You've pulled cherry on top. Quite an important message, this one. 
particularly around your life path, yeah. Let's pull you up the guidance. Says Gemini, you are so close to success to the final attainment of all your efforts coming together perfectly. All that remains for you to do now is one final step. One last choice, commitment, attitude or action and your success will be complete and sweet. Sweeter than an ice cream sundae with a cherry on top. Do you feel like you're on a never-ending journey to manifest a dream? Does it seem like you've been travelling on this road to success forever? So long you might wonder if you'll ever reach the promised land or even the promised land does it exist at all? Then you will enjoy some good news. You've been working hard and for a long time simply going through each day doing what you need to do. It's been a necessary attitude, giving you patience and persistence, but it can prevent you from realising exactly how far you've come, exactly how much you've already accomplished. Although you may not realise that you're actually very close to achieving your goal. You might feel it's years away or you've crossed many shores to reach your desired destination. You'll be surprised then when you walk around the corner straight into your destiny. Like a vast container of water almost at its threshold, there is just one last drop required. That one last drop makes all the difference. Apparently all of a sudden what's been growing within you starts to overflow. Yet it's all been preparation that you've done that's brought you to this place. So what is required from you now is just the finishing touches, the finalising of a detail or two, perhaps one last addition or adjustment. Everything's going to fall into place. It is the final drop that finally creates the overflow. I kind of like this cup overflowing, yeah? Mm-hmm, beautifully overflowing. It says, to help you take this wisdom off and remove any blockages is to imagine or pretend in this moment you realise everything's going to work out perfectly and your success is not only inevitable but going to happen any moment now. What a relief, so much happiness and satisfaction. It's well deserved too, so you're very comfortable in accepting your dues. And imagine feeling this piece of satisfaction and success and smile. Pat yourself on the back and say, well done. And you can repeat this affirmation. Um, it does say you can do skipping or walking in a circle, whatever you feel like it. You can just sit and listen, yeah. It says cherry on top, cherry on top, all is perfect and complete. Cherry on top, cherry on top, here is the outcome that I seek. It says you've finished your healing ritual. Um, there is a very brief affirmation which says, my efforts come together now in perfect timing and perfect grace. So Gemini Spirit saying you're absolutely just about there to everything you want. All right, those of you watching the free reading, those are your messages for the second half of March 2021. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Reach out if you feel like you need a personal reading. If you'd like to get the extended version, all you need to do, as I said, is hit that join button or the very first link in the video below. We're going to go into that next. In terms of what we're going to focus on, um, I think we're going to put the cherry on top here because it's saying that you're just literally just about there. So let's find out what you need to do to get there, yeah, in terms of your success. Um, there's so much about your reading around temperance and balance and this beautiful leaving the past behind, going through this transformation, moving forward, yeah. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous energy is coming through. So VIP members, hang around, we're going next. Those of us leaving, those of you leaving right now, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Make sure to come back again. And uh, we're going into general energies next.